Noel Pearson is being accused of offending multicultural communities with these comments that Peter Dutton has criticised. I say to multicultural communities in the campaign that I, I'm involved in around the country, I say to them, listen, where do you fit into Australia? It's a bit unclear. Are you with the mob from the UK? Are you kind of honorary settlers? Because some of you are the wrong colour. Or, or you don't come from Northern Europe. You come from Africa, you come from Asia, you come from South America, you come from all over the joint. You come from China. I say to them, where do you fit in Australia? Because we can move to an Australia where the indigenous, the British descendants, and the multicultural mob become one. All right, so I just think it's a very, uh, it's a confused campaign that uh, uh, the Yes activists are, are running at the moment. I mean, it started with uh, the people like Alan Joyce and others dictating to Australians as to how they should vote, and now you've got uh, leading people um, in the Yes campaign like, like Noel Pearson uh, talking about, uh, you know, our country being segregated and, and different people being worth, you know, different amounts depending on when they came here. I mean, mm. I, I, I don't understand the logic behind it. Well, the Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese, then sat down with The Guardian yesterday and said that if The Voice isn't successful, well, he says it was still a worthwhile exercise. Well, here's what Dutton had to say about that today. The Prime Minister says, well, you know, he says now it doesn't matter whether it's yes or no, it's been a worthwhile exercise. It's cost half a billion dollars and it's dividing our country. All right, joining me now is former Speaker of the House, Bronwyn Bishop, and commentator Jason Morrison. Wonderful to see both of you. Sure. Bronwyn, what do you, what do you think about this? Albanese now saying, oh, well, it was still worthwhile if the voice referendum isn't successful. How can it be worthwhile when it's been so angry and divisive? Well, I think I said a long time ago that's the attitude he'd take when it went down because um, he really has no other thing to say. Uh, it has divided the country. And uh, I also said if, it, if the yes case had got up or does get up, it would cement that division into the Constitution. So he has been an abject failure in dividing the country, generating hate. Um, it, it's really unforgivable in a Prime Minister. And when I say hate, I can only use that term when I see the sorts of things that were being shouted at Jacinta Price um, in Brisbane, um, the sorts of things that were shouted at uh, Senator Antic. And, and I checked these words. I will never forgive Noel Pearson for saying that, that Jacinta was a redneck celebrity vortex being used by right-wing think tanks to push down on other blackfellas. Awful. I mean, mm. I will never forgive him for saying that about Jacinta, who I think is the most outstanding person uh, who I do know. I do know her mother. But I think she brings a freshness of approach. Mm. She's got a different attitude. And the Noel Pearson and the Marcia Langtons are the old brigade with the wrong agenda, but they've got power and they don't want to give it up. Mm. So my, my statement to that is that Mr Albanese, as the Prime Minister, has failed and the knives will be out for him in the Labor Party, mm. the new would-be Prime Ministers. What do you think about that, Jason? Do you think that this will affect his leadership if it goes down? And, and you know, do you think he's going to take any responsibility? It does look like it's going to fail. It's his model that's been so controversial. Mm. He could have just done Indigenous recognition in the Constitution. That would have had the support of the majority of Australians, most likely. And he could have legislated a voice. Yeah, th then he would have had his kind of, you know, legacy, which is what it feels like this was all about all along for him. Um, you know... Has it affected him? Yes. Will it affect him even more? I, I, I tend to want to look for the positives out of this. I look at the Noel Pearson comments and I think the best part of this process is it's smoking people like him out and it's smoking out the Marcia Langtons and it's smoking out the generation 
of haters and dividers and the people who have been propagating the disadvantaged, the depth of it, and almost wanting to keep the victimhood thing floating over Aboriginal communities and not actually deal with it. So, you know, uh, if you'd asked me two or three months ago, I was quite fearful about what would be the outcome. I knew, I knew it was going to be a no. Mm. but I just worried about what would be the aftermath of it. I'm actually quite hopeful now. I'm hopeful because it may be the last we see of these kinds. And I just think it is, it's appalling even to hear those comments from Pearson. That's beneath a man of his intellect, but it's an insight into what makes him tick. The hatred and division that is around and is being used as a as a game, as a pawn in all of this. And to sort of want to go and, you know, it's already one thing to sort of want to try to divide Australia into black and white. His next step is to want to divide Australia into every racial mix and every part of our nationality and culture. Um, that's revolting stuff. Mm. And politics doesn't get much dirtier than that. Mm. He's playing a dirty game. Mm. Bronwyn, you know, you speak so highly of Jacinta Price and, you know, a lot of the sentiment on Talkback Radio is, is very favourable to her as well. Do you think she could be a future leader of the party? Undoubtedly. I'd love to see her get to the lower house because she's got what it takes. To be Prime Minister? I think so. Um, making the switch from the Senate to the House is not an easy thing to do, mm. having been there, done that. Uh, but she's got the wherewithal to do it and she's... She's shown that she can withstand uh, the harshness of politics, which is there. Put your head above the parapet in politics and someone's going to have a go at kicking it. That's a reality. Mm. Mm. But she's shown the stamina um, and a wisdom uh, which has come from years and years of dealing with the problems in her community that people refused to acknowledge she had knowledge of. Yeah. So she comes with a, a depth... And, you know, this country, everybody came from somewhere else originally, whether yeah. it was 60,000 years ago or well, six exactly. years ago or six months ago. We have built a fantastic country. Now, this morning, um, and I mentioned Breakfast Radio with Ben Fordham, there was a doctor, um, Sonia Henry, working with Aboriginal kids in outback uh, northern, um, Western Australia... Mm dealing with children who have pneumatic heart disease. It requires a very painful injection regularly. The kids hate it. She has discovered if you give them a, uh, a visor uh, with um, visions being up in space or under the sea or whatever, mm. that the kids can be distracted and can actually have the treatment. Amazing. But they cost 5,000 each. So what did she say? I've got 3,000, I want another two. By the end of the program, there was $30,000. Yeah. Now, that's what Australians Wonderful do. Wonderful spirit. Someone's yeah. in, in Very, need. very generous. Let's do yeah. it.